I thought I would make a short video about this uh, new high voltage device that I've acquired. Uh, it's a Crooks tube uh, made for me by a local neon sign maker, Jim Har. And I thought I would show you the, uh, the setup and then I'll dim the lights and show it in operation. The tube itself is a plain glass tube, about two feet long. You can see the uh, neon sign electrodes at either end. Uh, there's nothing in the glass. It's supposed to be a vacuum. There's a little bit of air, of course, but there's, it's a vacuum. There's no mercury or any other vapors in there. Just plain old air evacuated down to a, a mild vacuum. Um, here you see a collection of copper pellets, which I had him put inside. This is for a different purpose and does not affect the operation of the tube. It's just for a different, uh, different experiment. The uh, tube is powered by this uh, flyback transformer. You see here. The flyback is driven by this little ZVS board. I actually bought this ZVS board online from a Chinese supplier. It's made just for this purpose. They even supplied the uh, flyback with it. And of course the power comes from this simple 6 volt lantern battery. So now I'm going to uh, put the light out so you can see the glow better. And take a minute to uh, connect the wire. Now you can see the glow. I'm going to stand back because I'm not convinced I'm not getting some, uh, might be getting some mild x rays from this. I'm not sure, but I don't, I'm told not, but uh, just to make sure, I'm going to stand well back from it. And I can zoom in. This is a safer thing to do. <laughs> now you can see this is actually brighter in the camera than it appears to the naked eye. It's not actually that bright. But you can see the uh, the dead space, the black dark space at the end there. And that should be the cathode, I guess. Here's the anode end. A little blurry, I think. Back up some. See the dark space. See it sort of moving. So these are cathode rays. Excited air molecules and electrons. Anyway, that is my, it's completely silent, and that is the cathode tube, and now it's off.